Look, Ma. No hands. <laughs> Now, if you're wondering how I pulled off that stunt with no hands and the saxophone is still up, you've got to watch the rest of this video. Hey, Donna here from DonnaSchwartzMusic.com, the site to boost your playing up to the next level. In this product review, I'm going to be reviewing Harvey Patel's Hand Ease. Now, I'm using my Selmer Mark VI Alto right now. And basically, this hand ease allows you to hold the horn actually without using your hands. It's amazing. You notice I do have my Van Doren um, FNH 100 harness on. You do need a neck strap, okay? The weight of the horn, you need the, the neck strap, but the weight of the horn is basically on your torso, it's on your body, and it's through this device called the hand ease. I want to show it to you first. Um, fully assembled, showing you how easy this is, really. What's great about this, what I love about this, there's no weight on my thumbs whatsoever. All right, I could play, and it's a little hard to do this because I'm not used to doing this, but you could play basically with no thumbs until you need to use the octave key. <laughs> now, I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> it's just a little bit of a, a little trick here, but there's no weight on your thumbs, particularly your right thumb. And for those folks who, that are going through hand injuries right now, carpal tunnel, wrist problems, other types of issues maybe with your elbow or uh, forearm, this is a great, great invention, great device that will surely help you um, be able to continue to play saxophone. The Handies is also terrific for students and professionals in marching bands. I've taught students um, in various marching bands, and I gotta tell you, some of the posture that's encouraged, where shoulders are up and they have to hold the horn out from their body, um, it hurts me looking at it. I, I think this is a shoulder injury waiting to happen. But I know that um, a bunch of marching bands, they want the students to hold the saxophones out, even the tenors like this. Well, guess what's gonna help? The Harvey Patel handies, without a doubt, because it's gonna put the instrument out from your body and help you to hold it away from your body with no tension on your hands. Another great audience for the Harvey Patel handies are those players that need to have the horn away from their body when they're playing because that's the angle that they need to play at. Remember, the angle that you play at is super important. That's what could be preventing you from playing higher or low notes or getting a full sound. So the Harvey Patel hand ease will help you with that angle if you're the type of player like myself that needs to have the horn away from the body. Okay, so the Patel hand ease hooks up to the thumb rest on your instrument and it's all you need is a flathead screwdriver that to take off your old thumb rest and just insert this new one. But again, Really, there's no, there's no weight on my thumbs at all. It's really that simple. And it's going to allow you to relax your hands, your fingers, while you're playing. That's so important because a lot of people get hung up with fingering fast passages. Now, yes, you have to practice with a metronome. Yes, you've got to put the time in. But the one thing that people don't talk about is that if your fingers are tense when you're trying to play a scale, and let me tense up my fingers, that really did not feel good. It felt very labored, okay? But if my hands are freer, it's just so much easier, okay? There's less stress, less tension, and you're going to have better technique, provided that you also put in the time practicing. Let me show you the individual parts of this hand ease. So in this view, you could see that the thumb rest is replaced by the uh, handies thumb rest over here, all right? And you see that there's a rod sticking out over here, as well as this, um, I think this is plexiglass, this material that's see-through, which is great, so no one else can, can actually see this. Um, this rests against your body. Now, there's different positions to do this in whatever comfort, whatever is more comfortable for you. I tend to have it at the, uh, just above the belt line, all right? And for me, because I use the Van Doren FNH 100 harness, I gotta make sure that it's not getting in the way of that harness. So for me, it's right along the belt line 
right over here. And it just rests comfortably there. Now, some people uh, put it a little higher up. Some people put it more in the, in the hip crease, especially if you're using this on tenor. Um, I've used the Patel handies on my Trevor James tenor, and I have put it in the hip crease area um, because the tenor obviously is a longer instrument and it just rests more comfortably there. So you could certainly put it there as well. And if you're playing the soprano, great choice to get the Harvey Patel handies because it, again, you could hold that soprano out without any tension in your wrist. And I've seen a lot of people put it more in the center of their body, more towards the, uh, more towards their stomach area, like right over here. All right, so this rod piece is attached to the thumb hook just by this little screw. I just loosen it and take it off. It looks like an airplane. <laughs> okay, that's all it is. All right, and this piece goes in um, vertically and you could adjust the height. All right, so short folks like me, you're gonna have a little lower, <laughs> et cetera, or a little higher, I should say. Okay, so you could adjust the height of that, uh, the height of this piece. The next piece is the piece that replaces your thumb hook. Okay, so in order to install this, all you need to do is get a flathead screwdriver, okay, flathead screwdriver, and just loosen the screw on the thumb rest. Really simple. Take off the screw with the plate right there, and there you go. That's it. The place for the locator pin is right there, and the place for the screw is right there. And when I place it back on, I just line up the holes and put the screw back over the top. Make sure I line it up and tighten the screw. Take the rod, adjust it for the height that I want, tighten the screw, and this angle can be adjusted with this screw. You'll be able to have really good solid technique and have relaxed fingers with the Harvey Patel hand ease. Now what horns or models does this work for? The modern horns, although this does work on my Selmer, <clears throat> this does work on my Selmer Mark 6s, my alto and my tenor, uh, but it works on the modern horns. Now if you have any questions, I'm going to put the link in the show notes, but you can contact Virtuosity um, Instruments in Boston. That's the shop that sells the hand ease exclusively. And if you have a question about whether this will fit your horn model, definitely please ask them. They're great. They get back to you right away and they spend the time with you. That's what they did for me um, in order to make some adjustments, adjustments for myself. So I can tell you this fits the Mark 6s, even though it's not a new horn, but it does fit the Mark 6s. It fits the Trevor James horns and it should fit the Yamaha horns as well. Now, can you store this in your case? It depends on how big the pockets are. Okay, you may need to hold this separately, uh, but the actual thumb rest should fit in most cases. If not, then you just carry a screwdriver with you and just carry like a little baggie to hold the, the uh, thumb rest, the screws there. I got to tell you, it's, that may be a little inconvenient for folks, but if you're really struggling and you're in pain when you're playing, this is a fantastic solution. And again, the information's in the show notes with regard to who to contact and where to purchase. So thanks again for joining me. On that note, take care. Have a great day.